Hey there. So we've just released dental charts in ScribeNote and I'll be taking you through how to make one. Um, so dental charts are really cool in that all you have to do is record your dental dictation and just go tooth by tooth as you're probing. And then we'll take that audio and process it into a full dental record and a dental chart as well. So to start off, we'll get you to switch to the dental record type, and then you can start recording. So uh, I'm doing a dental record today for a dog named Keithy. So let's just go ahead. So tooth 101, five millimeter pockets at the rostral aspect. Same for teeth 102 and 103. Tooth 104 has, um, let's see, moderate gingivitis and resorption. Tooth 104 is not mobile. Uh, pulp cavity is normal on x-ray and no halo around the root. Tooth 105 covered by gingiva with two millimeter pockets. 106 medial root at the bu buccal aspect um, has a small chip out of the enamel. 107, gray tooth rotation exposure and gingival recession over the roots. Teeth 108 through 110 are missing. Um, and then tooth 204, the lingual distal aspect of the tooth has wear with enamel loss present. 205, resorbing roots. 206 and 207, the distal root is resorbing. 208, the palatal root is loose with grade five pockets surrounding it. 209, moderately mobile. 210 is missing. 301 through 303, moderate gingivitis with no pockets. And then 304 through 311 look pretty normal. 401 to 411 are mildly mobile. And 411, stable on x-ray with no pocketing. So now that that's done, I'm just going to wait for it to process. And now it's done. So now we can see our swanky little dental chart here. And it's color coded, so all your abnormal findings will be in yellow. And you can hover um, on each tooth to kind of see what the findings were for that tooth. Missing teeth are represented here by just an outline. And then if you mentioned any extracted or unerupted teeth, these would be different colors as well. And the cool thing here is if you want to make any changes, so for example, if 108 wasn't actually missing, but you wanted to say it was um, extracted, you can change that here. And it won't show up uh, automatically after you type, but you'll just have to refresh the page there. And now you can see that's extracted. Another thing you can do is you can add to a dental record, just like um, you would with any other record. So if you wanted to say, for example, like 306 and 307 had moderate gingivitis, you could do that. Um, actually, so tooth number 306 and number 307 have moderate gingivitis with no pockets. And then we'll wait for that to process as well. There we go, 306 and 307, now have moderate gingivitis. See those here. And another neat thing is you can actually export this into a PDF and it'll export the dental chart as well. So let's do that. There we go. And we can see all of our information is there and nicely labeled. So one note I just want to make real quick is that these PDFs are not available on the mobile app just yet. 
Um, if you want to export these dental charts, you'll have to do so from the web app. There we go, dental charts.